shout of praise in the house this morning. Praise God, the Bible is here. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. If you've been down to the rock and you taste it, that the Lord is good, would you Somebody in this earth, y'all. We got a father. Hallelujah. 
as the east is from the west. When Jesus hung on the cross, this is what he done. It was from the east to the west. Yes. When he was on the cross, he was pulling. He said, I'm taking your sin and I'm throwing them to the east and to the west. Never, never to be brought up against you again. So if I'm not going to remember them, if I'm not going to bring them up against you again, then you need to go ahead and learn to forgive yourself.
says these words to us this morning. When I look down, I no longer see you. I no longer see your past mistakes. I no longer see your failures. I no longer see your shortcomings. I no longer see your struggles. I see the blood. I see the blood. Hallelujah. When you live in repentance, praise God, you are a born again believer. Don't you let the devil sit there and lie to you. Don't you let the devil whisper in your ear. You put my God in heaven. Born again child of God. Let me tell you something. The Bible said, hallelujah, when Jesus died upon the cross, that that blood that was shed, he is faithful and just to forgive you of all your sin and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Hallelujah. In Romans chapter 6, it goes on and it tells us, shall we continue in sin? That gives us a reason to not want to sin. Hallelujah, because we know that we have a Father that gives everything to us. We have a Father that loves us so much. Hallelujah, that we don't want to let Him down. I remember my daddy. And I said, there's one thing I did not want to do. I didn't want to let my daddy down. I've done a lot of things. But when it comes to my daddy, boy, I try to keep it away from him. Because I didn't want to let him down. And that ought to be how every one of us views our father. But we must understand something. There's nowhere we can go that our father can't see. Our father looks over us every step we take. I'm not trying to scare you in a little night. I'm just trying to tell you. Your Father loves you so much. His grace is sufficient. When we are weak, that's when He's strong. I want you to understand something. His grace is sufficient to help you in your weakness. If there's a weakness in here this morning, He wants to help you to overcome it. He's not there on the, on the throne with a trolley of weight to knock you down. He's waiting to help you. Yeah. 
Yeah. 